Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise 4E channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Fans of Sister Wise have pointed out an intriguing element in the pictures taken during Garrison Brown's memorial ceremony. Robin was there, as was Cody Brown, however none of Robin's kids were snapped at the event. Were any of her kids there at the church? Read on to find out what the fans have to say. Heartbreaking images from Garrison Brown's memorial service. The Nevada National Guard released images of Garrison Brown's flag-folding ceremony on Tuesday, an emotional post on the influence Garrison had on his family's life and the lives of many others followed the photos. The statement said, well known for his spirit of adventure, Brown traveled widely, exploring multiple countries and continents. He was passionate about humor, dodgy photography, and daring craftsmanship. His night sky photography especially touched viewers. Friends and family remember Brown for his sense of humor and ability to connect with others, the memorial went on. A vacuum has been created in their hearts by his departure. Images from the event show Janelle Brown, inconsolable, receiving a folded flag as a memento of her departed son. Other pictures depict several other family members in the group of people lamenting Garrison. Logan, Hunter, and Gabrielle, Garrison's siblings, all appeared to be in deep grief. Christine and Mary Brown, were also present for the service. Christine looks like she's trying to contain her tears in one picture while she watches Janelle accept the flag. Robin Brown and Cody were also present during the ceremony. Robin's expression when she stares at Janelle in pictures is anguished. Cody stayed expressionless in the photos. Many Sister Wives viewers brought up the fact that Robin's children were not captured in pictures during the flag-folding ceremony, even as they enjoyed the ceremony's images and sympathized with the Brown family's grief. Fans of Sister Wise indicate who among the crowd might be missing. On Reddit, someone asked, did any of Robin's kids attend Garrison's memorial? None of them appeared in any of the photos. Others were eager to comment on whether they believed Robin Brown would permit her children to go to the function. One admirer said, probably not because it's not safe. Another said, I feel like her kids need actual help. Someone else said, Robin shields her kids from everything and anything even slightly uncomfortable. There's no way she would let any of them go. Which is very unfortunate for her children, as I imagine they are grieving, and being with relatives and friends at such a lovely event can be consoling. They later changed their statement to clarify that, despite not being seen on camera, there were suspicions that Robin had let some of her children to attend. Peyton Brown, star of Sister Wives, was pictured during the funeral service standing alongside Hunter Brown and other servicemen honoring Garrison. It appears that he attended the event even though he wasn't captured in photos with the sitting group. Take a look at the picture below. Someone another made the observation that people didn't necessarily attend just because they weren't in the pictures. Therefore, it's possible that fans of Sister Wise will never know for sure. How do you feel? Was Robin Brown preventing her children from attending Garrison's memorial service? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. A CAI team from Flagstaff, Arizona reportedly paid a visit to the House of Sister Wise stars Cody and Robin Brown on Thursday, March 7, two days after Robert Garrison Brown, Cody's son, was discovered dead at home following an apparent suicide. According to Katie Paulson of Without a Crystal Ball, the couple's neighbor contacted her to report that three cars whizzed through their neighborhood around 7.30 p.m. local time, eventually landing at Cody, 54, and Robin's Flagstaff residence. Photos of the purported units parked in front of the property were taken by a neighbor without the aid of a crystal ball. On the second level of the house, Almost every light was on. An experienced behavioral health professional and an EMT from the Flagstaff Fire Department staff each of the SARE units in Flagstaff. It was developed in 2022 to handle non-emergency and 911 calls in situations where there is little risk to public safety, hence eliminating the need to dispatch police officers. 
The Flagstaff Police Department tells in touch that there has been a high frequency of calls referencing a purported event at the address you have supplied, notwithstanding what has been reported. There haven't been any calls dispatched to the address, according to what we were able to validate in our system with names and DOB, after speaking with dispatch. There have been no occurrences involving the Flagstaff Police Department or the Coconino County Sheriff's Office. In touch exclusively disclosed that there was never a dispatch dispatched to the residents three days after the reports went viral online. On Monday, March 11, an official exclusively informed in touch, Cody and Robin Brown's home was not visited by a SEA unit or another service affiliated with Terrace Health. On Tuesday, March 5, following the announcement of Garrison's passing, his parents, Cody and Janelle Brown, posted a combined message on their own Instagram profiles expressing their sorrow. Janelle and I am very sorry to inform you of Robert Garrison Brown's passing. He was our beautiful boy. He brought joy and optimism to everyone he came in contact with, they said. Our loss will leave a void in our life that is so immense, it will leave us speechless. The two continued, We kindly request that you respect our privacy and join us in celebrating his memory. When Garrison passed away, he was 25 years old. According to Janelle 54, in a report from the Flagstaff Police Department that In Touch was able to get, Garrison and his father were not on good terms at the time of his death. During the COVID-19 lockdown, viewers of Sister Wives had witnessed firsthand how Garrison and his younger brother Gabe remained distant from their father due to his stringent regulations in season 18. Gabe, 22, discovered Garrison's body after going to check on him at Janelle's request after she learned of the concerning texts he had shared on Monday, March 4. Authorities said that after the discovery, Gabe attempted to bring Cody back to Garrison's residence, but he returned by himself. The police report stated that Gabe left the scene to pick up his father and return with him to the apartment after speaking with Janelle. The article went on, but Gabe came back on his own a little while later after another family member went to help. According to the article, Garrison's roommates and police officers who spoke with Gabe stated that the reality TV star had been experiencing drinking problems and was feeling down. Officers were told by Janelle that she should have gotten her kid help. She voiced concern about Gabe and Garrison's emotional damage from their father's alienation from them during Sister Wives season 18. I've been concerned about my boy's mental health, she confessed. Everything affects Gabrielle emotionally and intensely. He is the child who stays silent, though. Garrison just seems angry or sadder, like he's not as happy-go-lucky as he used to be, the woman continued. According to Katie Paulson of Without a Crystal Ball, the couple's neighbor contacted her to report that three cars whizzed through their neighborhood around 7.30 p.m. local time, eventually landing at Cody 54 and Robin's Flagstaff residence. Photos of the purported units parked in front of the property were taken by a neighbor without the aid of a crystal ball. On the second level of the house, almost every light was on. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.